Okay, so in this video, we want to continue to look at binomial products involving thirds. We're going to look at um, two special binomial expansions, and that is the difference of two squares. So when we have a plus b times a minus b, we know that that expands to a squared minus b squared. And that is because we've looked at this previously in a previous video. But again, you know, if you have a plus b times a minus b, that's a times a, which is a squared a times negative b which is minus ab, b times a which is positive ab, plus b times uh, b times negative b which is minus b squared. These obviously cancel each other out because you're adding and subtracting the same thing and so you get a squared minus b squared. We want to be able to look for this pattern and efficiently jump straight to here without the need to write out these four multiplications. Especially when we're, it's, we've got lots of thirds going on, it's going to help us and save us time and effort if we can recognise that difference of two squares pattern. Similarly, um, the perfect squares, a plus or minus b all squared, oh sorry, is a plus or minus b times a plus or minus b. a times a is a squared. a times, um, let's say, the, let's just do the positive one. Uh, a times b is plus ab, b times a is plus ab, and b times b is plus b squared. So we get a squared plus two lots of ab plus b squared. Remembering a plus b all squared is not a squared plus b squared. It's a squared plus b squared plus two ab. If it was minus, okay, then these would be minus. When you expand it out, those two things would have been minus, and so the only difference is the negative two ab there. Okay. These need to be familiar expansions. When we did this in our previous topic, I really emphasised the need for you to begin to be able to recognise these expansions and go straight from here to here without the need for all of the expanding out, multiplying out four separate terms. Again, that's going to be help, going to help you to be much more efficient, particularly when you've got ugly things like thirds going on in those brackets. Okay, so let's work through some examples. These first um, four examples here are perfect square expansions. So if we've got two plus root three all squared, okay, looking at our perfect square expansion, okay, it is the first thing in the bracket all squared plus two times the first thing times the second thing plus the second thing all squared. Okay, so we want to see where those um, terms need to go. So in this case, we've got two is the A value and root 3 is the b value, so it's going to be the shape of the perfect square expansion is the yellow thing squared plus 2 times, it's plus because of the plus in there, that, that sign will match um, the sign in the bracket. It's plus 2 times the yellow thing times the blue thing plus the blue thing squared. Okay, that's the pattern we need to get used to. Okay, so in this case we're going to have 2 squared plus 2 times 2 times root 3 plus root 3 squared. Okay. Alright, so 2 squared is 4. And again, you're going to do these things in your head if you can. 2 times 2 times root 3, that's just 4 root 3. And then root 3 squared, well that's just 3. Because we know if we take 3, we square root it and then we square it, they undo each other. Root 3 times root 3 is root 9, which is 3. And then we've got like terms, 4 plus 3, so 7 plus 3. 4 root 3. Okay, much easier than writing out the two brackets and multiplying everything out. Please learn these patterns. I promise you it'll help. Okay, same thing here. It's going to be the first thing in the bracket squared. Now because we have a minus, it'll be minus 2 times the first thing times the second thing. Oops, root 5. And then plus the second thing in the bracket squared. Okay, so root 3 squared is 3 minus 2 times root 3 times root 5, so that's going to be 2 root 15, root 3 times root 5 is root 15, and then root 5 all squared is just going to be 5. 3 plus 5 is 8, minus 2 root 15. Now, root 15 is that in simplest form, square numbers that are less than 15, 4 doesn't go into 15, 9 doesn't go into 15, the next square number is 16, which is bigger than 15, so that's in simplest form. Okay, again, another perfect square. So we're going to be doing, this time, 2 root 6, that's the first thing, and 5 is the second thing. So we're going to have first thing squared plus 2 times first thing times second thing plus second thing squared. Okay, blue thing in there and there, yellow thing in there and there. 
that's the pattern we're looking at. So it's 2 root 6 all squared plus 2 times 2 root 6 times 5 and then plus 5 all squared. Alright, 2 root 6 all squared is 2 squared which is 4 times root 6 squared which is 6. So this is just 4 times 6 plus, now here we've only got the one third, root 6, so it's just going to be something times root 6. We've got 2 times 2 times 5. 2 times 2 is um, 4 times 5 is 20. So 20 root 6 plus 5 squared is 25. Now 4 times 6 is 24. 24 plus 25 is 49 plus 20 lots of root 6. Root 6 is third in simplest form, so that's as good as it gets. Okay, and then example four, okay, we've got some fractions here, that's okay, fractions are just numbers, so remembering same pattern, something squared plus two times something times something plus something else squared, okay. So the first thing in the bracket is going to go here and here, it's the second thing in the bracket that's going to go here and here. Um, so we have, oh, sorry, I just realized I made a mistake in the last one, my apologies, hopefully you picked it up. Uh, it's a minus in that bracket, so this should be minus that middle term. Um, so in this case, we're right. We've got plus in the bracket, so it should be plus that middle term. Okay, so in this case, that is a quarter squared plus two times a quarter times root seven plus root seven squared. Okay, a quarter squared is one squared over four squared, so it's one sixteenth. And then plus two times a quarter is, yes, it's two quarters, but the two and the four cancel down, so it's a half, root seven. And then root seven all squared is just seven. Okay, collecting together like terms. So the numbers not involving the third, they're like terms. We can collect those together. So we've got one sixteenth plus seven. So seven, we want to think about, well, seven, how many sixteenths is seven? Um, so 7 is the same as, what's 7 times 6? 7 over 1. So 7 times 16 is uh, 10, 16, sorry, 10 times 7 is 70, and 6 times 7 is 42. Um, so 70 plus 42 is 112. So it's 112 on 16 for 7. So we've got 1 on 16 plus a half root 7 plus 1, 1, 12 on 16 and so therefore we've got 113 on 16 plus now that half times root 7 we can write that as half times root 7 or we could write that just as root 7 on 2 because if you have half times root 7 which is root 7 on 1 you have 1 times root 7 over 2 times 1 and so you just have root 7 on 2. If you really wanted you could get a common denominator there which would be 16 um, 113 on 16 plus that would be uh, 8 root 7 on 16 and so we could write it as 113 plus 8 root 7 all on 16. Okay. Regardless, either way, um, this answer is fine or this answer is fine. You don't have to write them with a common denominator. That's not more or less simple. It's just different. What we want to make sure of is that our thirds are in simplest form, so root 7 can't be simplified any further, and our individual fractions are in simplest form, so 113 on 16 can't be simplified any further. Okay, um, question five. Um, so here we've got a difference of two squares. We're looking at that, you know, um, a minus b times a plus b kind of pattern, which we know produces a squared minus b squared. So first thing in the brackets, all squared. Second thing in the brackets, all squared. Okay, as long as we have this pattern of the same two terms in each bracket with a minus in one and a plus in the other. It'll always be a minus here because when you expand out those brackets, negative b times positive b will always be negative b squared. Okay, so here I recognize that difference of two squared pattern. So I recognize I'm going to have something squared minus something squared. In this case, it's going to be 4 squared minus root 5 squared. 4 squared is 16 minus root 5 squared, root 5 squared is just 5 because it's root 5 times root 5 which is root 25 or it's the square root of 5 and then squared it so the square root and the square are cancelling each other out. Regardless it's 16 minus 5 which is 11. So it simplifies to a nice simple whole number value here. 
Let's have a look at number six. We have the same thing happening. We've got root three in both brackets. We also have two root seven in both brackets. There's a plus in one of them and a minus in the other. And so we have a difference of two squares. A difference of two squares, sorry. So it's going to be the first thing squared minus the second thing squared. So that is root three squared minus two root seven squared. Okay, so root 3 squared is 3, 2 root 7 all squared is, uh, 2 squared is 4, root 7 squared is 7, so that's 4 times 7. So it's 3 minus 28, and so that's negative 25. Okay, question 7. Again, we recognise we've got 5 root 7 at the start of both brackets. We've got 3 root 2 at the end of both brackets. We've got a plus in one bracket and a minus in the other bracket. And so we have a difference of two squares. So it's going to be something squared minus something squared. Okay. And so it'll be 5 root 7 squared minus 3 root 2 squared. 5 root 7 all squared is 5 squared, which is 25. Root 7 squared is 7 minus um, 3 squared, which is 9, times root 2 squared, which is 2. Okay, so 25 times 7. Now, again, you could do this in a lot of different ways. I, might, I can see that 25 times 8 would be 200. And so 25 times 7 is 25 less than 200, so it's 175. 9 times 2 is 18. So it's 175 take away 18. 175 take away 8 is 167. So 18 is 157. All right, and then example 8. Um, again, same patterns. We've got... 1 at the beginning of both brackets, we've got 2 root 3 at the end of both brackets, we've got a plus in one bracket and a minus in the other bracket, so it's a difference of two squares, okay, it is going to be the first thing all squared minus the second thing all squared. So in this case that is 1 squared take away root 2 on 3 squared. 1 squared is just 1, root 2 on 3 is root 2 squared which is 2, on 3 squared, which is 9. So we've got 1 minus 2 ninths. 1 is the same as 9 ninths. Take away 2 ninths. I do this step in my head personally. 9 ninths take away 2 ninths is 7 ninths. Okay, so this difference of two squares involving um, thirds, they um, simplify really nicely to actually um, rational, nice rational numbers with no, involving no thirds. And that becomes really important uh, in a few videos time when we look at rationalizing the denominator. We've gone from something ugly that involved irrational numbers to something that was completely rational. And that's important um, when we're looking to rationalize down the track. Um, again, we have a worksheet here with a whole lot of practice of these special products. So difference of two squares and perfect squares.